G'day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload photos onto Google Earth. And the way I'm going to do it is um, using photos that have been geotagged. What that means is um, they are photos that you've taken in the field using a phone, maybe, which has GPS on it and you have uh, location turned on. And that means that all the photos that you take have a location data attached to them. So here's some photos I took from a field trip on um, in Yarraman Creek. And all of these are geo-referenced or geotagged, which means um, they have the GPS coordinates for each one that um, from wherever I took them. Now, I used to do this using um, Google's um, Picasa program. That's no, um, that program no longer works. It's no longer supported by Google. And so I've had to find a new way to do that. And the way I do it, geotag photos using Google Earth. If you type that into Google, you want this first link here. And this has some information about these really intelligent people who figured out how to do this. Um, basically, you go down here to choose files. And here's the photos from that field trip that I went on. And I'm going to select um, these three photos. Open. And I want to create KML file. Now, if I then, it's, it's created a um, KML file, which is a Google Earth file. I want to open that in a folder. Now, if I copy this, or cut it, and I paste it into the folder where the photos are stored. So I want to paste that. OK, now if I double click this, it's going to open up in Google Earth. So all of a sudden, I've got here under a folder called Geotag Photos, I've got three photos there. And if I double click on them, the photos come up. So here's a wonderful photo of a goat that we saw on the field trip. I can exit that photo and I can click on another photo that we had. And there we can see what we were looking at at that particular time. So notice it arranges the photo so that they appear exactly where I took this photo. So this was when we were, um, if you looked at the previous video, you saw we added all these place marks for where I was um, on the different field sites. These photos, these particular ones, were taken near Site 5, and they were automatically located, um, arranged, sorry, where they were taken using those GPS coordinates. So the goat was here, and the, um, these little parts of the, of the creek were here. And so they're all arranged there. That's going to save you a lot of time and effort when you're back from your field trip trying to remember where exactly all those photos were taken.